Hi everyone. This is Dr. Gara Harsha. I have done my MD radio diagnosis from Dr. Ramanohar Lohia Institute of Medical Sciences. And I have joined this institute in 2020 and completed in 2023. And now coming to our institute. In our institute we are having x-ray, ultrasound, mammography, DRF, CT scan which is of 64 slice CT, 3 Tesla MRI and DSA. And now coming to bond. In UP we need to serve 2 years bond which is a compulsory thing. And now coming to the bond breakage. The person who is willing to break the bond have to pay 40 lakhs to the government and they can break the bond and they can leave. Now coming to postings. Uh, in our RML, the duration of one modality will be two months. So in JR1, he will be get posted in ultrasound, ultrasound guided, po ultrasound guided procedures, ultrasound Doppler, DRF, mammography, CT scan and MRI where the all the procedures we he will be getting hands in JR1 hands on in JR1 but the ultrasound guided procedures CT scan and MRI are the exceptions the ultrasound guided procedures he is guide he is posted under some senior where his senior will be doing the procedures and he will be helping him and next coming to CT scan and MRI he will be posted in CT scan and MRI but but he will be taking the history and now coming to JR2 wherever the JR, the the postings he haven't done in JR1 will be posted in JR2 and he also get postings in ultrasound guided procedures ultrasound dopplers and in CT scan and also in DSA next coming to ultrasound guided procedures in JR2 where he will be personally doing the ultrasound guided procedures like FNAC and biopsies. Next coming to DSA in as a JR2. In DSA, he will be helping his consultants whoever posted in the DSA and also he will be doing procedures like PCD and PCN. If Next as a JR3, he will be posted in CT scan and MRI. Next coming to timings. The college timings are 9 to 5 and after 5, whoever have been posted in uh, the emergency have to do their night duties. Uh, the one backdrop is uh, till my tenure, there is no trauma center in RML, but they are they have built a trauma center and it's going to come in future. Now coming to ultrasound supervision. As a JR1, whoever posted in ultrasound will be supervised by either JR2, JR3 or any SR and he will be getting a hands on in ultrasound in the first year. Now coming to CT and MRI. Uh, our institute, the only the JR need to report the things, he have to write the report and he have to consult his any SR or senior or any JR, any consultant whoever posted with him. All the reports will be scrutinized and all the reports will be verified by his SR or JR3 or any consultant. After verification, the report will get dispatched. Now coming to hands-on. In RML, we will be getting better hands-on whatever the modality whatever the thing whatever the posting will be posted we will be getting a better hands-on uh, the things are like ct scan and mri only the jr need to report they have to write the report they need to know the things they need to go there go to their consultants now coming to the environment the thing is the environment of rml the consultants are easily approachable. They will guide you. They will teach you the things. They need. They will tell you how to approach the case. Now coming to hostel. It's a 11 floor building where there are double rooms and single rooms. Whoever have got married will get double room and whoever have not 
will get single room each single room he will be provided with an ac with furniture like bed reading table and a almara the at the bathroom is attached to the room itself and the hostel is located in the hospital premises which is a walkable distance no need to go out of go out of the hospital premises and thank you